one of the best ways to learn about trends in the ERP software industry is to attend a vendor conference. And this year, I decided to attend several vendor conferences, and I'm at one right now in Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm here to learn about what people here are most excited about, what trends they're most excited about in the ERP space. My name is Eric Kimberly. I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients throughout the world to reach the third stage of digital transformation success. And I'm here at the Epicor Insights Conference, which is a software vendor in the ERP space. And not only am I here to learn about Epicor, but I'm also here to learn about what trends people are most excited about in the ERP industry. So what exactly are people excited about and what are they learning so far in this conference? That's what we'll talk about here for us in this video. So in the world of enterprise technology, business technology, yes. what trend or trends are you most excited about right now? AI. Definitely the AI trend. You know what? Actually, I am excited about AI. Well, if I didn't say AI, I'd be the lone man out, right? If I didn't say right. AI. I'm sure everyone's mentioning that, but AI. What's up with the new AI? How they're protecting things? What's they going to offer to the customers? How most likely it's going to be implemented? Is it going to be easy? Is it going to be worrying? It's that talking point. It's that... You know, really coming to fruition now of knowing what it can do to help. Yeah. So I think the customers, you know, they're they're coming to us about it now and starting to ask, you know, how is it being used within your software? How can we best use it? So there's a lot of interest in it and, and wanting to know how it can be used in a business versus just what people hear on the air about it. Are you seeing or uh, actually using AI in specific areas of your business yet? Are you in the early planning stages? Where are you at in the AI? We are in the early planning stages. It's something that our company is uh, looking at right now to uh, bring us into the future. A little competitive uh, advantage over our other uh, industries that are out there. We are an AI-driven sales acceleration platform. Okay. So really it's exciting for us as a company to have an opportunity to implement the things that we have built out and to help folks sell. They're just talking about how they can help um, their customers grow, how they can help make sure that their customers get their needs met. So I'm really excited about how AI and ERP are coming together. We want to see more discussion about security from a what do we do now standpoint versus I've got a tool that'll stop a hacker, a blocker, a bad actor. They are going to do bad things. Let's put some things into place about what that app. I think more of understanding how it can help them run their business better. I think they're looking for new technology and what you know is out there to do what they're doing now and do it better. Yeah, absolutely. Trend or trends are you most excited about? Looking forward to. Yeah, I think there's a couple of things. One is, is I think we're starting to see a lot, uh, like a like a move to flexibility within the ERP space. A lot of innovation is occurring in the ERP space, and it's happening at a much faster motion than we've seen before, right? right? So the so the classic use case right now is AI. Right. And what does that mean? Is it just a buzzword? Is it really, I mean, can I bring real value to our clients using AI? And, and, and I think we can. And so we've been able to take that AI piece and ground it in the unique company data of our clients, or in our case, us. Right. So it knows who we are, what we do, it understands our language, and it can tell us, and we find we get a much richer experience when we ask it questions about our business. The usability factor that has come up, not just ease of use within screens, but just the, the interfaces, the technologies, the value out of AI, and as customers start to consume it, the promise of cloud made it easy to get in. I believe we're now at a, a next level of usability that is making it more practical for, for their teams to digest as well. Right. Yeah, that's great. Our customers are really wanting specialists. So although we focus in manufacturing, that's super critical for our customers, but having a, a deeper expertise, taking it to that next level, uh, we have a specific focus around aerospace and defense and servicing the defense industrial base. We've written some code, we've got lots of training, education, and most importantly, the ability to really help our customers understand what it means to be compliant in the defense industrial base. 
practical use cases, things that um, maybe aren't the sexiest AI thing you can think of, but things that are going to deliver real value. So let me give you an example. Um, I'm sure you're seeing this too. You, you know, creating an item record is probably one of the least sex sexy things you can do in a system, but it takes a monumental amount of time, and you think about using generative AI to generate descriptions, to generate long descriptions, web descriptions, actual value producing stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. great. So that's what some of the experts have to say, but I'm curious to hear from you, what trends are you most excited about in the ERP space? And if you're going to conferences this year or anytime soon, what are you most excited about? I'd love to hear your feedback. Please drop those in the comments below. And of course, if you'd like to learn more about ERP systems in the market and some of the trends and best practices and top 10 software rankings and other independent tech agnostic advice, be sure to download our 2024 Digital Transformation Report. It's a free report we publish each year. It covers a lot of the different things you're going to need to know to be successful in your digital transformation. You can download that by scanning the QR code right here in front of you or go to the links below. So if you found this information useful, and hope you have a great day.